Hi, my name's uh, Matt. I'm a leading aircraft controller in the Royal Navy. I'm 28 years old, stationed on board HMS Daring. Once on board ships, we operate the uh, helico heli helicopter most days. Depends what kind of operations we're on at the time. If we're down, say, in the Gulf uh, doing anti piracy operations, we'll generally launch aircraft twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening, searching for pirates. Uh, the general day will consist of getting up at around six, seven o'clock in the morning to brief the captain for their first sortie. Uh, the first sortie will be probably about two hours long, proceed on through the day to the evening sortie again of about two hours, briefing the captain one hour prior. And uh, your evening time generally is kept to yourself mostly. Uh, I've been in the Navy for 11 years now, uh, so the operations I've been on mostly have been centred around the Gulf and anti-piracy operations. I've spent some time in the Mediterranean and the Black Sea, so I've managed to get around a fair bit of the world. I've just come back from uh, the United States as well on board HMS Terry. I think uh, a good person to become an aircraft controller would be to, to be outgoing, uh, be friendly, have a good sound knowledge about yourself as well, uh, confident and out, outspoken, not, not afraid to, to speak your mind on occasions, obviously in the right, right place and the right time. Um, just happy in yourself really, more than anything. Uh, what's rewarding? Every time we see the aircraft go up in the air and, and arrive back safely, basically. I think uh, if they're delivering weapons or just going out on a general sortie just to get the mail, I mean, it's nice to see them come back safe. And then you've done it all as well. Royal Navy offers a good, stable job, open to all diversities of life, basically. Um, they pay very well. Uh, you get to see the world for free, having a great time and getting the job done at the same time. So that's very rewarding.